Let's break down some new updates for Modern Warfare 3, including some new operator packs releasing, an upcoming Mastercraft bundle, and some massive changes coming to what Treyarch is releasing in terms of MP and zombies very soon. Be sure to drop a like in the video if you do go on to enjoy. But first up here, let's go through what we have right now in MW3. A lot of people have been commenting in my recent videos that their event tab is not showing up whatsoever. Of course, the holiday event just began yesterday. And apparently, from what I'm seeing, you're still able to complete the holiday challenges, but you have no idea what your progress is. You don't know what you're unlocking until it, I guess, pops up on screen. So it is very confusing for a lot of people. Let me know down below. Is your event tab good? Is it not showing at all? Are you able to get those challenges done? Hopefully, there is a fix very soon. Because again, if there are active events in the game, you cannot access the event tab whatsoever. That's a pretty big deal there. So let me know down below what's going on if you have that issue. And of course, be sure to check out my partner, Apex Gaming PCs. They have a bunch of great customizable PCs over there. Great for making videos, playing Call of Duty, stuff like that. If you do go into a buy PC, be sure to use code MARIS for an extra discount. Links are down below. But for some more stuff here, we have one more Mastercraft bundle releasing in season one of this game. Despite the bundle art showing COD Ghosts on the weapon, which is super fun. Funny, the unique inspect of this bundle is actually the launch sequence of advanced warfare followed by update required restart message which is kind of funny there so here to see the bundle art showing the cod ghost logo i wonder if the original idea for the bundle inspect as well was supposed to be a cod ghost type of theme interesting stuff but of course we have a preview here of this insert coin tracer pack mastercraft bundle with a bunch of weapons, some pretty cool tracers as well, some cosmetics, and of course that pretty cool inspect which you'll see at the end of this preview here which shows advanced warfare, update requires restart, it's a solid mastercraft there overall. Now, of course last week we were able to buy a bunch of bundles early in the store, let me know down below if you were able to get this mastercraft here, there's still a ton of bundles besides for this one that still haven't released here, I have a feeling there's some people out there that got all of the bundles early legitimately by doing that method, by doing that glitch, having it pop up in the store just getting them all early before they took it down so let me know down below if you do have this one early and i'll be sure to update you guys on the exact release date here for this mastercraft bundle in season one and it seems like here we're only gonna get a couple of mastercrafts per season which i don't really get i feel like they should just release more of these because they're cooler they're more fun to use and stuff and for people that want to buy a bundle might as well get a cool mastercraft style weapon instead of just a base weapon for a pretty similar price so let me know down below your opinions on that and of course as i've said hopefully in the future we actually get a mastercraft weapon as an event reward the blueprint we got for the holiday event is okay but it would have been much better if we got a mastercraft version of that holiday blueprint so maybe we'll see that in a future event we'll see very soon and of course tomorrow we are getting a new prime gaming bundle as well which you could claim for free if you have prime gaming or twitch prime it's very simple to do i'll break it down tomorrow when it does release we'll go through what it is how to get it in your game all that good stuff sometimes these bundles are pretty solid honestly and other times they're a little lackluster so we'll go through and see if it's a solid bundle to get there but regardless it's free if you have twitch prime so you might as well just get it for the extra cosmetics right not a big deal but for something else here now these aren't releasing but i gotta mention this because it's super super cool we have a look here at some of the dev skins the developer skins that again if you work at sledgehammer games you have access to these but literally everyone else has no access to these skins here unless you have like an unlock tool or something crazy like that if you're hacking to the game maybe you could get access here but they look really solid kind of like a cdl skin type of vibe but a bit different you have 20th anniversary or 20 years of call of duty on that as well you have that tiki camo skin there you have some other cosmetics some other looks at the skins here pretty cool stuff imagine at the end of mw3 they release the dev skins in a bundle i feel like that would sell pretty well honestly or maybe a part of a final mw3 event we have this little challenge event at the end of the game to celebrate the entire year and the final mastery reward are these operator skins so let me know down below if you would want to see that i feel like that would be pretty sick overall now of course every week on the channel i'm showing you guys my pickems for the call of duty league where if you predict these matches correctly you're gonna get extra double xp weapon xp and cosmetics of course i keep track of cdl so my predictions are usually fairly accurate if you don't know what's going on whatsoever you might as well just copy what i have up on screen or maybe change them a little bit to your liking but if you have no knowledge whatsoever just copy what i have up on screen here for friday i have a phase over lag that's pretty solid there toronto over seattle a close game that should be good although seattle could cause an upset win there we have subliners versus rocker new york should take that for sure Seattle and Miami, that's a close one. That could go either way. I have Miami winning, but it could easily be Seattle. LAG Boston, 
another close one. I, I, I like Boston a little more right now, but you never know. Toronto over LAT. I, I like Toronto there for sure. Optic over Vegas. Optic for sure here. Phase over Vegas, also phase for sure. Carolina Rocker, another close one. You could really go either way. New York Thieves, definitely New York there. And then Miami, Boston, I would give the edge to Miami again. So a lot of close matches this week, but overall, pretty confident in these picks there. Let me know down below your opinions on that. And now for some crazy changes happening over at Treyarch for their 2025 release here. What we're seeing for multiplayer and of course, zombies. Let's break down all the news here. Exclusive, Call of Duty 2025 is a semi-futuristic Black Ops 2 sequel. That's kind of wild. Currently known under the codename Saturn, Insider Gaming has learned from multiple sources that COD 2025 is set to take players back to the future. Call of Duty has not had a game set in the future since 2018's Black Ops 4, which is kind of crazy. Insider Gaming understands that Call of Duty 2025 is currently in development as a direct sequel to Call of Duty Black Ops 2, being set around 2030. BO2 is, of course, set in 2025. As such, fans should expect the return of some fan-favorite protagonists as the team faces a new villain following the death of Menendez. As previously rumored, Black Ops 2 Remaster maps will be coming to the game, but recent plans and the scope of the game have changed significantly. So what are the changes here? Previously, the intention was to have all of the Black Ops 2 Remaster maps released on launch, similar to how MW2's 2009 maps came back in MW3. However, the current plan is to now launch with new maps and remaster maps in conjunction. Although only one source would comment on the change, it was speculated that the game was likely in response to widespread fan criticism that painted MW3 as a glorified DLC to its 2022 predecessor. MW3 had just 16 months of development thanks to a lack of higher up planning and internal changes that led Sledgehammer Games to be under immense pressure and crunch to deliver a premium COD title on time. The final product resulted in a game with 16 remastered MW2 2009 maps on launch and a campaign that lasted a few hours. Despite the game's apparent shortcomings though, it's been said that the game did tremendously well with IW already well into development on its next Modern Warfare game. Speaking on other specific details on COD 2025, which are heavily in flux due to the game's early stage of development, 22 months away at the time of writing, it's understood that the game is slated to have an overhaul to its movement system, the return of a classic pick 10 creative class, the gunfight game mode, and another year of round-based zombies. It's currently unclear if the carry forward from COD 2024 named Black Ops Gulf War will be incorporated due to the significant time jump and change to the game's overall strategy. It's a completely new game, it was said, suggesting the game may not. With BO2 being one of the series' best-selling games to date, officially selling at just shy of 30 million units, it makes sense that Activision will once again capitalize on nostalgia while also giving players new and exciting content. So this is some crazy stuff here. Let me know down below your opinions on this. It seems like Activision is pivoting a lot here to where originally COD 2025 was going to be more of a Black Ops 2 remaster in a sense with, you know, all of the BO2 MP maps, potentially all of the BO2 zombie maps as well brought over, more on the BO2 train instead of a new game, but now here they're finding a better middle ground, I guess, because of the reception of MW3 this year, they're gonna do a little less BO2 remix here in terms of MP, probably for zombies as well, and then they're gonna make it more of a new game, but with a lot of BO2 uh, in the mix, which kind of reminds me of what we saw for almost Black Ops Cold Wars, at, le at least for the DLC season, where we had a lot of BO2 remakes in that game, despite it being a Black Ops 1 sequel. So we're gonna see more BO2 content here. At that point, if it, you know, it's gonna be cool to see a BO2 sequel. The storyline would be cool, but for the multiplayer, might as well just bring us other, you know, Treyarch maps as well. Bring back some BO1 maps, some World at War maps. Just make it a collection of or a celebration of past Treyarch titles, especially for zombies as well. Definitely want to see Transit, Die Rise, and Buried remade. Those are the only three maps that have never been remade or remastered from Treyarch Zombies, you know, excluding Black Ops 4 and Black Ops Cold War, obviously. But other than that, by the time this game comes out, Black Ops 3 is going to be 10 years old. So is that a long enough period to remake some of those maps? Potentially. Shadows of Evil being remade, Horizon Rock as well. Those would be, in my opinion, pretty welcome remakes there. And a lot of people probably, it's maybe a surprise to some of you guys, have never played a lot of those BO3 zombie maps. So seeing those return as well, 
would be insane so let me know down below your opinions on this we still have a couple years away from this game releasing but at this point if it's going to be less of a black ops 2 remaster and just a sequel in terms of the story i don't mind them having of course some bo2 maps some new content as well we want to see new content but also some other Treyarch content as well from all different games you know making it again more of a celebration of Treyarch games instead of just a bo2 style game but we'll see what we end up getting there let me know down below your opinions on that be sure to subscribe for more cod update videos like this shout out to youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys